Welcome back to Thionite Plays Xenoblade Chronicles 3. On the last episode, we freed Colony Gamma, Mio and Senna, and Tyon's old colony. And we got a new hero in the party, Commander Teach, the commander of Colony Gamma. Uh, we beat a console, we freed the colony, everything is now hunky-dory. And I do wonder if there are any quests that we have to do here, because we freed a colony, so... Why would there not be quests? Of course there would be quests. We're done with the side quests in our log, so um, I suppose we could talk to a few people while we look around for gossip, because if there are no gossip in this colony, I'd be absolutely flabbergasted. Foots! By the way, where did you lot go off to? Slacking off and loitering somewhere, I'm sure, or just plain desertion. Wow, such low opinions. No, of course not. Don't get so wound up, Senna. Foots here is just curious as to what happened to us. Right, Foots? So you're as sharp as they say, Tyon. It's a shame you're not so easy to provoke. Anyway, it's fine. I don't really care. It's above my pay grade anyway. Well, that's uh, good to know. Teach did want us to do something. He said, he uh, last episode he said he had an idea or a plan or something to ask. A favor, I think he put it. Is it in? No, hold on, hold on. Actually, now that I think about think about things, I think I have to switch out the hero before I can talk to him. Where is he? Because I'm pretty sure if the hero is in your party, because because the, they are he, they are characters. So if they're in your party, they're not in the colony or wherever they're supposed to be. So if they have a quest for you. Well, then it's only natural that they wouldn't be able to give it if they're not in your party. There's one more quest marker on the map, but I know what that one is, and it's not not this. Mina! The console rarely appeared before us in person, if ever. If we didn't raise our flame clock rank, we'd be left to our own devices, or just cast aside. Or perhaps he just placed his faith in Commander Teach. Guess we'll never know now. Well, yeah, he is dead. We absolutely destroyed him. Where is Teach? It's not because of the time, is it? He's normally in... Um, I don't know where he is, but I do want to talk to him before I leave, so... Uh, for you guys, it'll be instantaneous. I could just poof us right in front of him. Oh, there you are, Teach. Found you. Enjoying the mess hall, perhaps. Mio, when you get a minute, can we talk over that request I mentioned? Sure, got it. Oh, do I have to be Mio? How do I... There we go. I'll do my best. Mio, when you get a minute, can... Yes. We have a minute. I'd like to talk with you now. Are we in the middle of something? Maybe we have to do this later? We have a minute now! Do you want to... Okay, fine. Let me change the time again. Maybe you want... Maybe you want a nighttime talk? We can talk at night. Nope, you're still here. Okay. That's interesting. Let me uh, go another hour. Nope, it doesn't work that way. He doesn't have a set schedule. Well, I suppose we can um, do that at a future time, I suppose. It doesn't look like there are any quests at the moment in Colony Gamma, which is... You know, absolutely shocking. So, Shoon. Schoon? Schooner. I'm gonna call you Schooner. Mio, is it true that a Kavesi Offseer see people off alone? Yeah, it seems that way. It's strange, isn't it? The norm for Agnes is to have two Offseers. Huh. Always nice to see a new face. Very interesting to see- Oh, there's the gossip. Very interesting to see the differences between Agnes and Keves, no matter how they manifest, the differences are very interesting. After all it took to get our rank to iron, our flame clock goes and bites the dust. We have to believe in Commander Teach and Mio. With them at the helm, we'll get through this surely. Absolutely, gotta have faith in our leaders. Trusting Teach, that doesn't sound like something with a side quest involved, but that one might, oh no. Stop giving me things. I heard Mio managed to save Kairi just as she was being attacked by a bunch of Kavesi soldiers. 
no big surprise there. She's powerful, stylish, kind, she's just about perfect in every single way. Well, except for her fashion sense, because of, uh, I mean, look at what she's wearing, those shoulder pads, they're, uh, <laughs> I don't know how Xeon pulls it off, but it's a miracle that he does. Well, let's discuss this gossip you know, and then you've got to take continue breaks. on. No quests, no quests, no quests. Oh, we have to talk about it, that's why. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, we figured that out, so I suppose we could get that out of the, out of the way. But we'll talk about role models, because um, about they're an important part of life. Wonder if we've become more like Ethel. What's that What's that about Ethel? I mean, like, we saved Kyrie from the hands of the enemy earlier, yeah? That's kind of like what, when Ethel saved us, way back when. Huh. Yeah, she did do that. Haven't thought about that in a while. And this time, we were the rescuers. That's kind of emotional to think about. Ah, oh, but remember, she took on a Levness that day all by her own spark and self, and that was in her third term. We're in our eighths. Yeah, I guess she did do that. I guess if it were easy to be Ethel, everyone would be doing it. I'd heard rumors, but it seems they were, if anything, vastly understated. What a formidable warrior. Wow, thinking about trying to match Ethel makes me feel less confident than ever. Don't worry about Senna. I'm sure every one of us will will accomplish some feat that is uh, quite remarkable, I imagine. I have no doubt. We will all live up to our legacy of amazingness. And we can still work hard to become someone that someone else might want to emulate. How about that? Yep, that's that's the plan. If someone emul em emulates? No, the language. It's escaped me. Either way, we're talking, we're, uh, trusting Teach? No. Teach's favorite? Well, it's, we're talking about someone. Tyon, you used to belong to Colony Lambda originally, right? Yes. I was reassigned to Gamma. You all know the story by now. I'd lost my way, but Commander Teach personally welcomed me in. Old Teach did. Huh. Under normal circumstances, you'd have to indicate a clear reason for transferring, but he didn't ask me a thing. Thinking back to it now, I suppose Commander Izzard must have put in a word for me. Senna and I came to Gamma at just about the same time, and we got put on the same unit. Phew. So you guys have been together since way back when, then? Yep. Isn't it strange, though? If tragedy hadn't struck in the way it did, I never would have met Mio and Senna. And if you hadn't met Mio and Senna, then Team Ouroboros would be missing a vital component of our, um, of our operation. We wouldn't be able to work nearly as well without your brains, Tyon. You're a valued member of the team. Oh, and I wouldn't have met you guys either. Aw, Tyon. Are you saying that everything happened for a reason? Well, I'm not saying that nothing happened for no reason. Tyon, what is that supposed to mean? It just felt like the right thing to say, I don't know. Well, I would also I also don't know if I'd go that far. But, uh, yeah, certainly, in some capacity, the outlook would make it easier to stay optimistic, at, at least. Tyon has such a way with words, unlike me, who language escapes constantly. So, Teach, what's this favor you wanted to ask? Okay, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I need you to get Colony 4's burrito recipe. I have heard about Colony 9's food shortages, and as a preventative measure, because we do not want to resort to cannibalism, we're absolutely going to get that recipe from Colony 4 no matter what. With their commander out of the picture, it is the perfect time to do a covert operation missions straight into the kitchen and find that recipe. What? It's a viable plan. <sighs> Fine. Based on that looks, you're not going to say yes, so I have to... Fine, Colony, uh, Colony B, C Plan B, uh, teach, teach the newbies in the colony, please. In an instructional capacity, Colony Gamma's flame clock was broken by your hand, Ouroboros, and you owe me and the colony. But the conflict between Keves and Agnes continues ever onward. If things get more violent, then my newbies are going to need to be proficient in battle if they're going to survive. And you want us Kevesi crew to teach them what we know? Yes, that's why I asked you. The training will be all the more meaningful coming from you. So there's an extra dimension to this. 
Oh, I can barely handle the mechanics of four dimensions. And you want to add a fifth? Oh, please don't do that. <laughs> Quantum physics was my weakest part in school. Yeah, it's, it's not quant it's not quantum mechanics, Mio. It's it's physical physical training. I if yeah, if you teach them, you'll be able you'll be the model for them to emulate. Exactly following the line of thought you had before, referencing Ethel. It's like I planned what less what what conversations to discuss. I didn't plan it. There's <laughs> I do not record these videos with a plan. You want them to emulate us? Keves is supposed to be our implacable enemy, living only to bring Agnes down. But you overturned those biases and came to an understanding amongst yourselves. So I want them to take you as their role models and shake up their ideals. You want them to relax their aggression and wariness towards Keves. Having such strong feelings with nowhere to vent them is going to eventually drive people to fight over nothing. I think it's vital to teach them this, to keep them away from war. I understand. Well, in that case, we'd be only too happy to help out. I've got to say, this is my first ever cheating job. Where do we even start? Yeah. Don't worry about that. I'll support you through the beginner program. First, I'll post the news that you've been made teachers along with your personal histories on the Colony Bulletin Board. Based on the Bulletin Board posting, the soldiers who decide they want to learn from, oh, they will decide who they want to learn from, an unusual method, letting the students to choose the teacher? Right. This method emphasizes their independence, and encouraging free thinking and critical thinking and independent thinking in your students is the only thing that a teacher should strive for. Well, not the only... Teach living up to his name. He wants to be a teacher. But if you do it this way, surely everyone will just choose Mio. She is the favorite Ouroboros member, after all. Not at all. Really? They wouldn't choose Mio? That's shocking. The new recruits are genuinely curious about all of you. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Let's give it a go, I suppose. I've never taught anything either, but I'll do my best to not let you down. You know, I believe it, coming from you. Thank you so much for helping me out with this. Now go out there and lead those newbies into a new future. Teach them all the combative tricks. Well, that is the start of a quest and it's i believe if my memory is not failing a long one but i want to talk to Kyrie. everyone is like a lieutenant foots is a lieutenant Kyrie's is a lieutenant oh i can't wait to learn from you guys we just have to choose our instructor from the notice board right yep you're gonna choose mimi right yeah how did you know that it's like you're psychic or something she can see the future that's Senna for you. It's her. It's it's all because of the fiery hair. It gives her precognition. It's very weird. Sometimes she just knows things that she really shouldn't know. Senna's a very strange one. Bulletin boards. Oh my gosh. Live combat training. Teachers. Senna and Uni. Students. Team Foots. Foots, Nagumo, and Yusora. Senna and Uni, they get to act together. And theoretical knowledge. Tie on. Students, Team Zakir. Zakir, Mina, and Schooner. Well, we get to mine Tie on's impressive intellect to teach many people many things. Wait, were those discussion topics? Oh, I bet they're discussion topics. Back to the back to the canteen table to discuss more topics. But first, I want to discuss this in the day because we can we can we're not savages. We don't stay up all night. I'm starving. Got anything I can eat? No, but we have topics to discuss. This is all about business. We Tutor, tie on. So Noah, did anyone request you as a teacher? Nope. They're probably a bit wary of us still. No surprises there, huh? Still, it's kind of depressing. Hmm. Noah, a word. What? Uh, yeah, go on. They asked if I'd teach, but I'm not confident to do it alone. I'd appreciate your help, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. I'll do whatever I can to help you, Tyon. That's what I'm here for. Noah is absolutely the team dad of the, of the team. Uh, go on, I'll give you a hand too, mate. Uh, that's okay, Lanza. Noah's all I need. 
Aw, oh, come on. The more the merrier, am I right? I'll only be teaching theory, so you know what I'm getting at? Ah, gotcha. Lance, there will be no physical component in this, so you're not going to be able to drop kick any of the newbies. So, yeah. Hey, what are you getting at? Are you calling me stupid? Just because I like to drop kick greenhorns doesn't mean that I am not familiar with the theory behind drop kicking. There's a lot of form and style and aesthetic components that all go into a quality drop kick. No, we weren't questioning your ability to understand the theory, Lands, but do you even want to be involved? You won't be doing any actual drop kicking. Uh well, if I was there, Noah wouldn't get a chance to shine, so. Out of the pure goodness of my heart, I'll let him have this one. Knock him dead, Noah. But not literally, though. I don't think Teach would like it if we killed any of his people. Get yourself ready, and then I'll see you in the Colony Square. Sounds good. I'll see you there, Tyon. Theoretical knowledge. And then we have one more to discuss with Senna and Uni. What Uni, the only that? member of Keves who's going to talk to people. Uni! A teaching assignment's come in for us! Yeah, it looks like it. Although I'm shocked they even wanted me. You're a lot easier to approach than me or Lance. Lord knows Lance is like twice as big as any of the other ones. So, it's, it's, it's rather an imposing prospect, I understand. Even in Colony 9, all the youngins loved you. I hate to say it, but you're a surprisingly caring person. To ashes with your surprisingly. So what idiots have asked for a Senna? Yeah, um, about that. You were asked for by Futz's squad, no? They're a strong team, skilled in battle, mainly attackers and defenders. They enjoy fighting a bit too much, but they're pretty exceptional soldiers, their Captain Foots in particular. Oh, that down, that, blip, 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 that don't sound too bad, a bunch of hot-blooded newbies. Don't take them lightly, lightly, Uni, especially Foots. he's super rude. He calls me tiny and short stuff all the time, especially to me. I'm not that small, I have no idea why, he's shorter than I am. Oh, sounds to like to me that they don't take you seriously. Sounds to me that we've got a we've got ourselves a prime opportunity for some drop kicking. We can knock this attitude of their heads well oh, we can knock this attitude out of their heads while we whip them into shape with actual whips. I've made them last night. I don't think whipping is called for. Right, only if they mess up the lessons, then we can break out the whips. We just need to show them we're on a completely different level to them. That'll keep them from mouthing off, yeah? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Let's whip them good. <laughs> yes, it's settled then. You beat them into the ground with your hammer, and I'll whip them with the whips. Oh, yeah, we gotta do what we gotta do. That's the way to do it, Santa. Um, guys, you know these are just new recruits you're talking about, right? <laughs> Don't break them. Please use the padded hammer, Senna. Don't use the actual Mobius stomping hammer. We're going to do combat mission first. Because uh, okay. we are absolutely Next going to, the to beat begins. these upstart newbies into the dirt. Foots, how dare you make fun of our beloved Senna. We're going to control Senna. Senna's an attacker and she has her cute little cap on. So we're absolutely... Foots, I'm here to talk. I'm Senna and I have a giant hammer. Wow, has she finally shown up? Looks that way. Can you both just not... We, I don't know how to tie a knot. It's the one aspect of our practical field training that I never was able to master. <sighs> Sorry, Senna. These guys were raised by Ferrises. Oh, um, no need to apologize, Ysora. Right. Senna's the one who made us wait, after all. That she did. Okay, that's enough. Looks like someone's in need of a little discipline, right, Senna? Right, yes, exactly. And no time like the present, eh, loves? Mock battle time. Time for some hard weightlifting. What? Uh. What happened to whipping them good? Mock battle is the best whip there is. Aside from, of course, the actual whips. We're still waiting for a chance to break those out. Surprise attack with them. Is it, though? This is totally weightlifting's time to shine, Muni. You want to pump iron, so what, we just sit this one out? 
We can all do it with them, right? We gotta show them we're on a different level. And that ain't what I had in mind. Guys, don't fight. You all wanna do some strength training, right? Everyone wants to get strong. Yeah, no mock battle of this. I'm going to teach you runs how to fight. Hmm. No. Mock battle sounds fine. Wait just a second. Did you just psh at me? You must have imagined it. All in your head. See, I strength train every day. Honestly, I wanted to prove myself against you and take on a real live Kvesi soldier. What he said. I wouldn't put it like that, but I think it'd be a good experience. Aw, oh, man. You too, Yasora. The majority has spoken. We are not lifting heavy things. These little scamps are full of beans, so a good mock battle's perfect to wear them out. Wow, looks like the Kavesi understands us better than even the illustrious Senna does. So let's show her how tough we are! We'll be waiting for you in the training ground. Don't run away in terror, yeah? Then quit yapping and get yourselves ready. Ugh, you don't respect me at all. You just need to break out the hammer. Hunt them all the way up to the mountains. And then that'll earn the respect. Or just break out the shield. Bash them over the head with Manana's cooking pot. That's always an idea. Don't try any funny business like letting us win or whatever. Oh, trust me, Foots, we would not even contemplate it. Don't worry your pretty little head about that. You will regret taking me on. Look at that. She gets it. Then let's begin. Oh, we absolutely will. It's six on six, so it's fair. Well, who's, who's our hero right now? Riku and Banana, so yeah, it's fair. Um, no, I'm not going I'm not going to let the auto battle take care of it. Foots, a, Foots is a defender with a, a taunting art, so... Wait, who's being taunted? Who's on the ground? Nagumo is the one with the taunt. So yeah, we should definitely take care of him. Oh, uh, right. Flashback is a side break. Yeah, uh, Senna has a extended slash, which is a shackle block and bonus damage from the front. So, um, a lot of her arts are basically the same as Riku and Manana's, because that is, of course, her class. But she also has flashback, which is, uh, of course, the obvious side break. And we paired that with wide slash, which is an evade art, but that's not super important at the moment. And, of course, good old-fashioned energy grenade, a continuous damage field. That is our blaze uh, burn setting art. Very useful for, uh, well, not the most useful. It only does, like, 24 damage persistently, but it's still better than nothing. It's it's uh, decent enough when you can um, chain that up in a combo. Chain attack. Combo it up in a chain attack. It's pretty good when you can just... Um, get that damage bonus on it. But that fight was not difficult in the slightest. <sighs> How? They're too strong. <laughs> I love it. This this is the exact thing I wanted. Oh, you look like you want to go another round. That's right. Not going to let you take your win and go. Oh boy, it's all kicking off now. Bring it on, schmucks. Bring it on, you nerds. Round two. They didn't get any stronger. Still not going to let the auto battle take care of this. Yep, Nagumo is absolutely the one who has to die first because he's ruining all of our strategies. Focusing on different people. How dare he make us... Oh, yeah, Senna got the break off. How dare he make us focus entirely on him. AoE arts are very good in this fight because when there's there's anything more than like two if you're three and above in terms of enemies then aoe is a particularly useful skills to focus on especially because if you're in fights with lots of enemies like that to begin with almost certainly only one or two of them are going to be like the main boss enemy Usually in those cases, you're going to fight like one or two boss enemies, as I just said, and a bunch of fodder. And using the AoE will clear out the fodder relatively quickly. So, always good to focus on AoE when you're in these kinds of fights. Because uh, normally, 
the typical trend is, and if you're if you're in against a bunch of enemies, they're going to be lower levels than you. You only have to focus, worry about enemies of higher level when it's like a one-on-one -on -one type of fight. <laughs> I can't. I need a break. Yusora! Yusora! Are you okay? Yusora! Ah, Nagomo, you'll shatter my eardrums. Stop shouting. Watch out, Yusora. I'll avenge you. Oh my goodness, he's still going? Does he scare you? Bad habit for someone your term. Hey, you can't say that. One more round. Nagumo, you're up for it? Oh yeah, I'll beat you black and blue. Well, I'll make you eat a dirt sandwich. Oh, they got a level from that. Well, they all they do say victory is the, the, the best teacher. No, defeat is the best teacher. You learn more in defeat than anyone else. They gained one level, but it's not worth our time. Because, of course, there is only two of them, and we can focus them down and have the exact same fight happen the exact same way. Except, apparently, Tyon died at some point. Well, everyone's back up. Yeah, there's really nothing to be concerned about. Mio and Noah can handle with Ouroboros. Senna, uh, sure, we can... You know what? Let's go Ouroboros ourselves, and we can show off Senna's Ouroboros form. She's got Earth Crusher. She lifts up this giant earthen boulder from the ground and just crushes people. It launches people at interlink level 3. And Mortal Bullet, as you just saw, is a knockback. A knockback art. And Dino Upper is a giant hammer. We, we blow them back with our giant hammer. Wow, everyone is dead. When did that happen? Well, it's still not a concern, because even though Noah's down... Well, this... Isn't going as well as I'd expected, but I still really don't have any concern. Oh, both of our healers are down, and Uni is down. Oh, we... How embarrassing would it be if we actually lost this? Oh, did he just launch me? Wow, this is, this is actually... Break him, please, and get that... Oh, this isn't good. Oh, it'll be very close if we manage to beat this. Lands is done, Noah's down, and Uni is down, so that's no more Ouroboros form. Oh, this is actually, uh, not good. Wait, are they both still alive? Oh, that's, I thought we were only down to one, which is even worse than what I thought. Well, that's, that's, that's really not good. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm going to lose this after all my trash talking. <laughs> Well, that's not good in the slightest. Oh, I really hope this doesn't, like, I really hope the game forces us to defeat them. Uh, we might have to switch Teach in. Okay, uh, yeah, we can retry the battle, and we won't use Riku and Manana because we want, uh, a different hero. Oh, well, okay, I guess we're doing it again. Let's focus down on foots. Or, well, Nagumo. Either way, either way. I'll see... I, I'm not going to make you guys sit through this again, so... We will, uh... I'll see you when, uh... We're back down to... About to win. And we are back. We've just defeated uh, Nagumo. Foots is nearly defeated. I have no idea what went wrong the first time. But this one went... Like, infinitely better. I, it's like everyone is nearly at full HP. I genuinely have no idea how we got so badly crushed the first time. Either way, victory for us. Ah, uh, snuff you! Uh, uh, we're in trouble, Nagumo. They're amazing. Foots and Nagumo were giving everything they had, but this lot are in a different league. That's us. Completely different level. Aha, uh -huh, you late. You lot ain't so bad. And you've got nerve. Yeah, we do. But I can't stand it. You still look so fresh. You look so fresh, Miss Uni. Feel free to challenge me anytime, though. As long as you don't mind losing. <laughs> That's some big talk. In that case, I'm happy to keep challenging you. I look forward to seeing your face when we beat you. Sound good to you, Miss Uni? 
Ah, Miss Uni. Aw, oh, and Senna, you better be ready too. Yeah, be prepared, Senna. Why don't I get a nice title? But I'll let it slide for today. I'm knackered. Mm -mm. No, you don't get to decide when this lesson's over. This is where it really begins. Uh, what? You've shown what you got stronger, so let's have a little strength training competition. Strength training? You know, actually, I'm done for. You want to beat us, don't you? Then strength training is the only way. Now you're all done warming up, you should be in tip-top condition. It has to be right now. You have to train. It's the only way. Train your muscles. Is she serious? This is what I mean when I say you two are too cocky. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, do your best. I'll be cheering you on from here. Hey, you're going to join in too, right? Miss Uni. Hmm. No, I leave the strength training to Lance. He lifts enough for all of us. Oh my gosh, that was live combat training. I hope everyone's getting along. Oh, and Mio got a rank up. Where where does everyone stand in terms of um the ranks? Nine, nine, seven, eight, ten, ten, ten. Oh, we're very close to getting uh, some shifting around. But actually, I do want Teach back. Riku and Manana are good for what they're good for, but. Ever your ally. The inscrutable teach. But now we also have Tyon's lessons. And we absolutely will uh we'll we'll put these guys in their places with our superior mental intellect and fortitude. Zakir. You requested training. I did think you'd be the ones who asked for me as a teacher. What gave us away? You've always been so enthusiastic about asking me things. Well, yeah, I respect you pretty highly as a strategist. I thought you'd have some good lessons to teach, so maybe it was presumptuous of me, but yes, I put you forward for it. I'm just a little puzzled. I don't remember asking for the Kavesi. Oh, I... Er, I'm the one who asked him. He's going to assist me in teaching. So today's lessons will consist of several problems you'll be expected to solve. I want to gauge your understanding of basic tactics and situational awareness. No objections to your plan here. But I do have a problem with that guy being involved in the teaching. I see. And what do you two think? As a member of Captain Zakir's team, I will abide by his decision. I... I... well... I agree with... Mm, Mina. I'm not going to go against Commander Teach on this. I just don't think I have enough information to judge whether Keves is trustworthy. That's the truth. As someone who intends to be the next commander, it's kind of my job to look into these things. That would be a big job. So what's to be done now, then? Look. How about if I answer Tyon's questions as well, hmm? Buh? Buh, buh, buh? Wait, why, though? Well, you know... It's always easier to solve something like this with a straightforward contest, right? That makes no sense at all, Noah. If I was being completely honest with you, Noah, that sound kind of sounds like a Lands solution. And we all know how Lands' solutions to problems always end up creating more problems. It doesn't make a difference to me, Tyon. Oh, please don't, don't agree with him. Please don't give Lands any kind of munition to fight to fight with. We don't want him to get any more ideas. It's at least a better way to end it than each prodding at the other to test their nerve, wasting time. Better to have a contest with a clear winner and loser. I'm very confident of you. It suits me just fine. Whatever. But just don't forget that we're all here to learn, okay? Let me get permission to use the War Council area. That would be appreciated. We'll meet later then. Agreed. Later. Mm. Well, they received that permission real quick. Well, I mean, I suppose Teach is with us and can be just like, Oh, yeah, go ahead. I, I want to see how this plays out. 
Teach is very fond of um, the gossip and the everything that's going on in in his colony. Well, everyone's here. Let's start with some combat-related problems. Sure. What should an attacker typically do if targeted by the enemy? Well, uh, redoubling their attack is a pretty poor idea. And giving up is uh, even less so. And you typically, if your attacker is has the aggro, you gotta pull back and wait for a defender to come in. Whose role is it to attract the enemy's attention? Soldiers targeted by the enemy? No. Strong fighters? No. It's, uh, it's absolutely your defenders, as evidenced by the previous question. What happens to some enemies when they're in trouble? Uh, they don't become alert. Confusion is not a status. They, they absolutely get enraged, though. That's, that's their little flame icon. Which one of these is not a benefit of inflicting days? Attacks always hit, all allies recover HP, and normal arts will not accumulate aggro. I don't know if I covered this in, in the, the, the Let's Play or any of the fights proper, but yes. When your enemy is dazed, your attacks will always hit, and normal arts don't accumulate aggro. I'm pretty sure that's how it's always been in Xenoblades 1, 2, and 3. But um, it's an interesting mechanic of dazed, so it's a good utility. But yeah, you don't recover HP, though. Which attacks weaken the enemy? Well, that would be that would be your debuffs. That's all the combat questions I've got. Let's take a quick break. Phew. Looks like you're having some trouble. Don't let it get you down. No need to worry about me. My score will show you. I'm sure. Don't look so much like you're going to skip out in the middle of the ride. No fear, I'll see you through to the end. What's up next, Tyon? Next is questions related to situational awareness. This is vital for battle. Absolutely, no gaps in my knowledge. Maybe I'll study up just to be safe. Will we? Oh, we got a we got a chance to break, but only the best tech test takers can do a 12-hour test all in one sitting. Even though your hands cramp up and it's terrible and awful and no good. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Which colony rank comes after copper? After copper... It's dirt, tin, iron... No. No. It's copper and then iron, right? Because tin is below, steel is above iron. Copper, iron, steel, silver, gold? Iron. What's the name of the desert in the Fornus region? It's not the Silver Desert. It's not the Sabag Desert. It's Danag Desert. What is the name of the jewel that can be mined in the Etia region? Oh, um, that is... That's, that's, that is... Uh, Delicate Bell. Where did Colony Sigma and Colony 9 fight? Never Night Plain. Sever White Plain. Everblight Plain. We all know about Everblight Plain. We went and got rations there at one point for Colony 9. What is the color of the smoke from airdrops? It's red. Let's see how you both measure up. Unfortunately, Team Zakir falls short just by a single point of a perfect score. Oh, what? Snuff this! Noah, I have no comments. Full marks. What? Get in! Looks like I'm going to have to do and reconsider my opinion of you. After all, Noah is extremely smart. He knows all of the tactics. If you hear rain in the background, I apologize. It has just become... It has just become quite... It's raining now. If you hear it, I, 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 I can't fix it. I apologize. Hopefully we can just ignore it. I absolutely want you to teach this stuff to them. It's raining in real life and in the game. Oh my gosh, it's fitting. To who? Kyrie and Foots. <laughs> Kyrie is sweet, but 
she's kind of a dunce, and Foots is an arrogant SOB, and just all around. He's a good fighter, but he's not the smartest tactician. They're not good at sitting quietly. They need to learn more about combat situations that they can't just brute force their way out of, or leave to chance. Their carelessness will tarnish Commander Teach's good name. When it comes to Foots, since peacetime, has, he hasn't had any respect for Commander Teach, which is why he'll never be platoon leader. Zakir, isn't there something you should be saying before all this? Right, yeah, sorry. You're right, Mina. Noah, isn't it? Yep. I lost this one, and I accept your victory gracefully. But if I can be frank, I just can't immediately start trusting you. That is all right, my friend. I absolutely understand having your opinions be um, governed by the fact that we've been in war basically your entire life. It'll take time for us to build up a proper camaraderie and a rapport between our groups. But I can guarantee you it will happen. I will become your friend, Zakir. If I was going to lie about that, I would never have accepted this challenge in the first place. You may feel I'm not holding up my part of the bargain, but this is just how I feel. I won't apologize for it. Don't worry. Like I said, we will be friends. You know, though, I'm actually kind of glad you came straight out and said it. You're optimistic, aren't you? Someone has to be. Otherwise, it would just be governed by Uni's, uh sass and Lanz's, uh, Lanz's brand of optimism, and that is a... Uh, that's only something people can handle in small doses. Whatever form that takes, whether it's playing games like this, or being honest about our feelings, or whatever, the important thing is that we've come to know each other. Get my drift? Hmm. Getting to know each other. We don't mean you any harm, we just want to help. That's the truth. I just want you to know that. You know what? Whatever you say, it's not going to make you any more able to trust. It's not... Yeah. Language, it's escaped me. You know that whatever you say, it's not going to make me trust you anymore. But I do understand your point. This is what Commander Teach is hoping for too, isn't it? Well, anyway, if you want to teach here, then I want you to face the students with appropriate sense of responsibility. So keep that in mind, and you might earn my respect as well. I will. Thank you, Zakir. As long as you understand. All's well that ends well. We passed with full marks, flying colors, all the successes, and we also were able to put these stupid Agnians in their place. We are obviously the better continent, the better country, race, who knows. Uh, Team Kevas for the win. Mina, what do you have to say? Zakir is still very much a Zakir, isn't he, Mina? If you mean his utter admiration for your ingenuity, then yeah, totally. Your teaching really motivated him to improve himself. Your forward thinking really made an impression on him. When I said he's still very much a Zakir, I didn't mean it as a criticism. If he wants, I'd be happy to instruct him again. Thank you. It's good to know that he'll continue to be in good hands. You have more to say, Mina, but we're... So we're not going to, uh... Have any more further conversation. Are there any more Voldenboard requests? Oh, there's one more request. Teacher Noah. Student Team Zakir. Schoon. Ooh. Schoon must be uh, Gamma's offseer now that Mio is of Ouroboros uh, acclaim. I'm your guy. Well, I suppose we can... Mm, do I want to end the episode here? We'll, we'll see what this discussion's about. We shall see. Offseer. Let's lay out the facts. Hey, Lance, listen to this. I've been asked to teach as well. What? No snuffin' way. The request came from Schoon, from Zakir's team. She's one of the new recruits that Tyon taught the other day. Like, 20 minutes ago. It didn't, it didn't happen that long ago, Noah. I see. So that's how it is, huh? Did she take a shine into you, then? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I don't really recall talking to her that much. She's an offseer like us, so maybe that's why she's curious about meeting an off meeting an offseer one, meeting a Kavesi offseer. Makes sense, but in that case, I wonder what I should teach her. Man, I wish I could have been been one of Tyon's teaching assistants too. Oh, that's right. You're now the only one of us Kavesi who hasn't been requested by anyone, Lands. Ouch. 
Hey, Noah, old buddy, old pal of mine, my dearest friend from the pod, how about I help you out this time? Good grief. You don't need to rush. I'm sure someone will ask for you eventually. Thanks, Mio. <laughs> don't lose hope, Lance. Uh, well, if you need my help, Noah, I'll be around. Just loafing about like a tool. So well, yeah, just let me know. Sure, I'll do that. I suppose I should go and find Schoon now. Well, we might as well talk to her. Hopefully, she doesn't ask us to go traveling the breadth and width of all... <laughs> the entire length of Ionios, because if she does, I'll be uh, kind of out of time for that. I can end the episode by talking to her, so please just need advice. Sorry to keep you waiting, Schoon. Oh. No, it's no bother. Uh, and who might you be? I have no business with you, but there's nothing wrong with me being here, right? I won't get in your way. Uh, all right then, I suppose I don't mind. I'm also okay with it, if you really want to, Zuno. Okay, guess he doesn't trust me quite yet. He doesn't seem like someone Schoon would be partners with, but not my business, probably. Let's jump right into it, then. Um, wait. Oh, uh, yes? Sorry for interrupting. No, it's okay. What were you going to say? It's just, um, you're a Kavesi Offseer, aren't you? That's right. And you're an Offseer as well. Or so I've heard. So Mio says. Yes, but I, uh, I don't really know how to send someone off properly. I play my flute, but... I get the feeling that's not all I should be doing, so... Hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, what am I on about? No, I wasn't judging you. I can kind of understand how you feel. Oh, really? But... Well, let me tell you about my friend, Earl. He had he had a b bit of a rough time finding his purpose in off-seeing. We helped him through that, so... If anyone... If there is anyone from Keves who's willing to teach you how to find yourself... Find your footing in the off-seeing world. It's me. I'm absolutely confident in my abilities. Why don't we step outside the colony for a little while? Outside? I'm sure I saw a body of water in the mountains not too far from here. Oh, channeling your inner teach there, Noah. It's not too far from here. It's just a six-hour hike. You mean Cooley Pool? Um, could you wait a bit? I need to ask permission to leave the colony. Of course. More than willing to wait. Do you want to come, too? Uh, sorry, I've forgotten your name. Zuno. Sure, I'll come, but please just pretend like I'm not even there. I've got permission to go. All right, we'll start the lesson there. I hope you find it helpful. Okay, thank you. Good to well, things. apparently we have to go off... 500 meters in another direction but that is going to have to wait until next episode because we are officially out of time for this one so whether you watched for 30 seconds or the entire thing thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you next time later